Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Anik, yes, sir. Enter. Varama, go ahead. Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Hello, students. Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how was the test? Did well? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So, I have to, I'm yet to see your, uh, yet to correct your paper. Uh, maybe today or tomorrow I'll be finishing your, uh, uh, like, paper correction. <coughs> but now, uh, so, any difficulty in the question paper? Anything which you cannot understand? In general, your opinion and your view on the question paper. So, you want to share anything about the question paper? Especially the biology part. <clears throat> so, you all know that, right? Today, what spark here? We are here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are going to discuss about um, the paper. <clears throat> so, what was the good part and what uh, uh, fine tuning has to be done? Uh, so, what uh, you cannot understand? Uh, so, what? Uh, so, like that. Uh, so, you tell me your opinion about the question and about the test, your preparation. All are synchronized. Your level of preparation. Yes, sir. Preparation is going well, sir. Mm. Okay. So, anything from your side need to say about? or ask about uh, the question paper, the test. Yes, Jishnu. Can you hear me, Jishnu? Sir? Yes. How was the test? Sir, it was. Uh, easy. Yeah, can you understand all of the questions? Can you connect well with your preparation? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, anything else to discuss from your side? Hmm? The 
Vidya, from your side? No, nothing, sir. The test was easier than expected. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So then we just, uh, uh, just a minute. <clears throat> Can you all be able to see my screen? Hello, students. Can you all be able to see? The screen? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's start the, the general discussion of all uh, uh, the question paper and especially with uh, biology. Right? You have the question paper also with you, right? Fine. So, what's the answer for this question? I think this is the first biology question, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So a factor not affecting photosynthesis. Wind velocity. Hmm? Wind velocity. Why? Because all the other factors do affect photosynthesis, sir. Other than wind yes. velocity. Yeah, so like the temperature, fine. And then uh, the carbon dioxide concentration, the basic uh, requirement of uh, photosynthesis. Okay, good. Fine. All of you answered correctly? Hello, students. All of you answered correctly for this question? Yes, sir. Okay. So, the next question, what is your correct, what is correct about uh, human kidneys? It is bean shaped. Yes. And then? Hmm? All other half. Yeah, those are false statements, sir. Okay, good. Fine. How many ureters then we have? Two ureters. Okay. So each, what is the correct one here? In the sense, each kidney has how many ureters? One, sir. One ureter. One ureter. Is it cylindrical? No. It has how many nephron? Hmm? So this is wrong, correct? What is the correct one then? It has millions of nephrons. <laughs> okay, good. The millions of uh, nephrons. Any specific? Listen, there are around 1 million nephrons per kidney. Okay, in one kidney, how many we have? In general average, 
on million nephrons okay in one kidney one million so in two kidney you have two million two million nephrons okay so you just keep that also in mind approximately we have one million functional nephrons in our kidney okay in one kidney so almost 2 to 2.5 million nephrons in both of the kidney okay fine so this one this is about uh, the stomata you can understand the question well so what this question is about hello students what this question is about sir so they given they have highlighted four parts and are asking mm. which needs to be focused to complete mm. i mean to completely view this tomato mm. so what's your option sir i wrote option b is hmm well, option i wrote one. option b which is the third oh. highlighted part sir oh option b okay why option b all of you written option b yes or no yes option b is correct because that helps sir. the stomatal pore that stomata is actually surrounded by what cells hmm? the stomata got cells okay so in this magnifications okay in that so here you can see even the god cells also okay you can see the god cells also and that's why option b is actually the correct one okay fine so now what is this question option a b c d sir i choose option a sir option a why sir so uh, basically asked i mean they asked to label the parts so x is stomata mm. and y are god cells okay x is stomata and y is god cells the more connected to the previous question right yes, not sir. somewhat completely connected to the previous uh, question right stomata and god cells okay x is x and y x is stomata and y is god cell correct <laughs> all of you written the same thing any confusion because of anything else was there any confusion any little confusion in this question no sir no no okay good and uh, tongue receptor is for what taste yeah why not the other answers other options tongue also supports speech right yeah. <coughs> hmm sir so, but uh, speech is it's not uh, it doesn't need receptor <coughs> sir you yeah. do it yes so receptor has no role in uh, the speech process okay heating smell like that not actually connected with that okay fine but there are heat receptors are there right you can feel the heat chill yes. in tongue why not uh, 
heating also so but for heating it is a different th it is thermoreceptor oh okay but still that receptor should be there in your tongue right to sense heat cold substances you get my question yes sir there should be some receptors right to sense heat cold substances okay actually why you cannot choose this is heat is different from heating heating is the process okay <clears throat> right heating is a process so adnala you cannot connect uh, that with any receptor okay next one so what is the correct one taste so what is the what is this question doctor advised a person to take an injection of penicillin why his sugar level and blood was high was high hmm his sugar level and blood was high sir oh what insulin will do what is an insulin it's a hormone secreted by the pancreas which regulates the sugar level in blood oh it is an hormone endocrine hormone which make the cell to take and use glucose okay insulin is a signaling molecule if insulin is there then only the cell can take glucose and utilize it otherwise cells are not able to take glucose okay so it is a signaling molecule okay thus make the cell to utilize glucose right so which of the gland is called most gland pituitary pituitary very well everybody knows why why it controls the secretion of all other glands in our body okay what are all the other glands are secreted by pituitary Can you repeat it, sir? Hmm? Can you repeat the question? Also? What What other glands? It controls all the glands. What are that all other glands controlled by pituitary? Thyroid gland, ov ovary, testes. Hmm. All the endocrine glands. Hmm. Yes, that's what all lists all. You get my question. list all of the glands controlled by pituitary all endocrine gland i'm asking the list of all endocrine glands so the adrenal gland thyroid mm. gland mm ovary testes mm Mm. Then Pan pancreas. Mm. That's all, sir. Only that much. Yeah, I covered everything, sir. Yeah. What? What is where melatonin is synthesized? Pineal gland. Hmm. Okay. So, what gland? Endocrine gland cannot be controlled by pituitary. Hypothalamus. Oh. Okay, because hypothalamus alone controls pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. Okay, okay, he is the master of master. Okay, fine. But nobody calls that. But we can think. What are the two glands or two hormones synthesized by hypothalamus? Releasing hormone and inhibiting hormone. Hmm. Releasing, Releasing hormone. hormone. Okay. 
Okay, good. Where hypothalamus is present? Uh, below the thalam thalamus. Oh, below the thalamus. Which part of the brain? Fore brain, mid brain, hind brain. Where hypothalamus is Four brain, sir. Four brain, sir. Four brain. Diencephalon. Mm. Diencephalon. Okay. So all of you attended uh, in this section all the questions, right? All made the correct options. Yes. Right? Sir. All 20. Yes, all uh, like all the parts from biology you written well, right? Yes, okay. sir. Now coming to the section B. The process of getting explain the process of getting energy from carbohydrates from our side, right? So what did you sir? What answer? So I didn't really question. understand the question. Like which which yeah. exact process you have to write? I didn't understand. So yeah. I wrote about yeah, respiration. Sir. Even I wrote, sir. I wrote respiration and the equi I mean the reaction involved in it. And I told uh, I wrote, I wrote that carbohydrates are converted by the action of enzymes and then in interglucose molecule and then glucose molecule is then broken down by respiration. That's what I wrote. Mm -hmm. So means like. Everybody answered in your own way, right? You understood the question in one aspect and then written, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, you connected anyway in whatever way you have understood the questions, but maybe your answers like uh, will be focusing on what? You have to tell me what are carbohydrates, where they are present. Okay, how we take and then what it does in the body, how it is digested, for example, how it is digested, food and nutrition, with that you can connect it, right? Yes, sir. Who gets energy from carbohydrates? Say, I'm asking you. What kind of organism gets energy from carbohydrates? Are you getting my question? Okay, I'll give you options also. Autotrophs or heterotrophs? Heterotrophs? Okay, heterotrophs only get because carbohydrate is a complex molecule, right? So, plants only produces that. So, we get energy, heterotrophs get energy from carbohydrates, especially animals and we human beings, correct? And what are the sources of carbohydrates? So, first thing you can say is, Heterotrophs get their energy from carbohydrates. Okay. Main means carbohydrate is the main nutritional compound of heterotrophs. Okay. And then from where we get the source? Fruits, vegetables, grains. Okay. All these things. The sources, what are carbohydrates? Means the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. That you have to tell, and then the sources of carbohydrate, and then after taking carbohydrate, what your body does, life processes connected with life processes, what your body does to that carbohydrate, what your body does to the carbohydrate, you take idli, what happens to that idli? It gets broken down. Ah, what is that process? Digestion. Digestion. Where it occurs? It starts from the mouth. 
Yes. And in the intestine, small intestine. Yeah, that mechanical carbohydrates are taken, <clears throat> and then uh, saliva in the mouth, uh, mastication, breakdown, mechanical breakdown, and then chemical breakdown process. It means enzymatic breakdown process. Okay, and then uh, through use of agar it travels, and then stomach, and then. Sir, I have a doubt, uh, sir. Intestine. Yes. So is it must for us to write all these pro all these steps just for two explain. marks? Explain. See, this is the key level. The question is explain. So you have to like the important aspects. What are all we can? If you cover some three or four, which we discussed, that's enough. But for this question, I'm telling you, carbohydrates like heterotrophic organisms only takes carbohydrates. Like in complex form food, they take. That's important thing. And then sources of carbohydrates, okay. And then function in an energy source. Carbohydrate is an energy source, fine. And then how it is processed. That is the main thing. How carbohydrates are processed. The process of getting energy from carbohydrates. Digestion. What is the process of getting energy from carbohydrates? Digestion. Digestion starts from the stomach. Salivary amylase enzymatic digestion and mastication. We have to tell. And then goes to the means mouth, mouth, first mouth. Mouth amylase that you have to connect. So the polysaccharide is broken down into disaccharides or simple saccharides, and then enters your stomach, and then small intestine. There also pancreatic amylase completely breaks down that disaccharides or everything, and finally glucose is made, which is absorbed. Can you understand? So carbohydrates, how it is taken, how it is digested, connect. What is carbohydrate? How it is digested in the human body? Can you understand? You understand the line? What? How you have to explain? How you have to connect the concepts? Hello, students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Means, what are carbohydrates? What are the sources? How it is digested? How we get energy? These things you have to connect. Okay. Shall we go to the next question? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> yes. So, what are the organs of respiration, respiratory organs in? Aquatic and terrestrial animals. So first, uh, the common features they have large surface area. Mm. Mm. Uh, they are richly supplied by, uh, I mean, they are richly supplied of uh, blood capillaries, and then they have thin thin walls for efficient diffusion. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> so you can say the common features of respiratory organs like as you said uh, large surface area for gases exchange thin wall for easy diffusion rich supply of blood for transport of gases so these are all the common things okay so main thing all these things are but also you can tell about what the name of the respiratory organs mean additional additional in addition to the things which i said what are the things Large surface area for exchange of gases, thin wall for AC diffusion, rich supply of blood for transportation, and apart from that, you can give examples of what the type of respiratory organs in aquatic and terrestrial organisms. Okay. Okay. So, what are the respiratory organs? Um, in lungs for terrestrial animals, mm. mostly yes. lungs, and then respirate uh, aqu aquatic animals are their gills. Mm. Gills. Okay. What about amphibians? Here it is not there. I'm just out of this. I'm asking. Amphibians, aquatic. Okay. Terrestrial. Okay. What about amphibians? Uh, they use more, more, uh, skin for respiration inside. 
okay they okay. use two type of respiration okay cutaneous okay. respiration pulmonary respirations okay what is cutaneous subcutaneous respiration means through skin also they can respirate frog and all okay skin as well as the pulmonary respiration lungs okay yeah now this one in reflex action you know what are the functions of relay neuron motor neuron and sensory neuron the sensory neurons carry is impulses from the receptors to the brain a hmm? cns and um, motor neurons carry impulses from the brain to the effector that is the muscles and mm. the relay neurons are present between the sensory neurons and the motor neurons and they act as mm. a connecting link okay fine so first uh, coming from the skin they have receptors which connects which receives the signals maybe hot or cold signal and then they transfer them to the what receptor sensory receptor first right the sensory neuron okay and then relay neuron and then motor neuron okay is it clear all of you connected well yes sir the role of all three neuron Mm. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Very easy and direct question. Is the next question? Answer the thirtieth question, sir. Which one? Thirty, ah? Yes, sir. Thirty. Twenty-nine is also there, sir. Yeah, twenty-nine. This one. Okay. Oh, yes. To match the following. Is about what this question? So it's about excretion. About the uh, excretion. Okay. Fine. Good. So any cellular organism? Diffusion. Diffusion. Okay. Through? Uh, excretes liquid waste through diffusion. Ah. Uh, through what? Ah. Uh, Semi-permeable membrane. Membrane. Okay, so membrane. Very good. Human beings. Excrete liquid waste again by the process of urination. Hmm. They excrete liquid waste by the process of urination. Urination. Very good. Uh, so plant. They remove the excess water through transpiration. They remove the excess water through. Okay. Humans urination. What organ is involved? kidney kidney okay in plants stomata stomata okay transpiration okay fine where stomata is present leaves okay good so easy question to answer ah huh? very easy question ah yes, yes sir yes sir okay So I guess thirty is also biology, yeah. sir. Which one? Num. Ah, oh, thirty. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Just a minute.
ice ice from biology yes so it's about the reflex uh, action i guess when bright okay, light is focused on it oh the question is not complete here then right yes sir okay so what is the question when the bright light is focused on i right receptor cells receive the message and passes on to the sensory neuron then it goes to the brain who receives the message by motor neuron causing the pupil contraction just a minute trace the sequence of events which occurs in our body when a bright light is focused on your eyes so what was your answer The same thing I wrote, sir. The sensory neurons transport the impulses to the central nervous mm -hmm. system, and then from there, uh, motor nerves again send the message to the iris, which is an effector, and mm -hmm. responds by causing contraction of pupil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listen. you know the structure of eye right you know the structure of eyes okay bright light when it is focused so you have cornea in front okay right you know you have cornea in front and then you have a pupil pupil is on both the sides top and bottom means on what it is covered with means in the left right the pupil is connected to what what makes the contraction of ciliary eye? ciliary muscles ciliary muscles ciliated okay ciliary muscles okay so when the bright light is focused they contract the ciliary muscles contracts or relaxes see bright light is focused your ciliary muscle contracts or relaxes it just contracts okay when a bright light is focused ciliary muscle contracts and adjust thus the light enters your eye and then there are two different fluids right uh, aqueous humor another one and then through the fluid it enters passes pupil and then lens in the eye where it reaches retina okay in retina what cells are there rods and cones rods and cones they are photo receptor cells correct what cells are there they are photo receptor cells so they receives and converts this energy okay the signal and then that conversion makes produces an impulse the physical form okay this light is converted into what impulse and that impulse is again received by the optic nerve it reaches the brain and then the integration occurs maybe the object is seen or whatever okay is it clear the entire route if possible you would have given okay and you have definitely connected with the cornea the retina photoreceptor cells optic nerve and then brain integration and then the response okay so these are all the sequence of events how the light is received and how it is processed in the retina that's very important and how it is connected to the brain neuron through neuron optic nerves so that part okay so what is the next question the 35th question sir 31st uh, which question no so not 31st 35th sir 35 
is nutrition and different modes of nutrition so very direct question so what is nutrition the intake of yes. food what is nutrition how can you define nutrition very easy question see process by which organisms take in food and convert them into energy and necessary nutrients mm. okay the process by which organisms obtain their sources means food materials and then use it for what growth repair energy all these things that is nutrition very good types or modes and there is autotrophic and heterotrophic mm. sir in okay. heterotrophic uh, the organisms produce i mean manufacture the food by themselves mm. and um, we can you know divide them into photosynthetic autotrophs and chemosynthetic autotrophs mm. uh, green plants Mm. Come under photosynthetic autotrophs, whereas mm. bacteria like blue green algae, cyanobacteria come under chemosynthetic autotrophs. Mm. Uh, and there's heterotrophic mode of nutrition, where mm. they depend on other organisms for their nutrition. Mm. And under heterotrophic heterotrophs, there's a holozoic mode of nutrition, um, mm. parasitic and saprotrophic. So. Okay, holozoic, a uh, parasitic and saprotrophic. Okay, with examples better. Fine, otherwise. Okay, very good. And then, thirty-eight question, right? So this is the last question, right? Okay. Answered all of this. Just what is the name? The largest cell present in body. Neuron. Neuron. Actually, you can say even more specifically, largest. You can say the longest cell. Okay. Neurons yeah. are the Longest cell you can say. Fine. Yeah. Anyway, uh, neuron. Since it is neuron, you can say largest cell. Fine. What is axon? Hmm. Is the longest so part of the axon? neuron which hmm. conducts nerve impulse away from the cell body. Hmm. Okay. Long elongated structure. Maybe where it comes from, from the cell body, it gets elongated, and then it is ending with what? The axon terminus. The nerve endings. Okay, cell body learn the origin of them, and then at the ending, the nerve endings are present. Okay. Fine. Name one gustatory receptor and one olfactory receptor present in human being. Tongue for gustatory and nose for olfactory, sir. What? For well, gustatory receptors are present in our tongue, while olfactory mm. receptors are present in our nose. Nose. Okay. For taste and smell. Okay. Very good. And then. Like uh, where information is acquired. Acquiring means received. Impulses are received. 
in which part of the neuron the dendrites sir dendrites correct dendrites okay and through which part information is conducted transmission you can say information travels with that conduction within a neuron so this is within a neuron not from one neuron to other neuron right within a neuron which part is responsible for that within a neuron conduction of impulses is connected with axon 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 okay very good and then from one neuron to other neuron not here that question is not here but since i am asking impulses transmission from one neuron to other neuron how through synapse synapse is the mechanism okay fine so in one neuron to non neuron maybe other non neuron maybe muscle cell via ax uh, terminal endings okay terminal endings fine what is that uh, junction is called there is a junction the impulse has to pass through what junction is that synapse no neuron to muscle cell synapse 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 is the process synaptic cleft is the junction between one neuron to other neuron pre synaptic neuron to post synaptic neuron my question is the receiver is a non neuron it is not a neuron it is a muscle cell what is that junction called muscular neuromuscular junction is nmj it is neuromuscular junction correct yes so so that's about so easy questions all i think uh, of you have done well and i'll show you the uh, uh, solution also just a minute you can go through that also maybe for uh, some of the questions you need to look into that we'll go from the reverse quickly you can have a glance on uh, the solutions okay like uh, 38 questions nerve cell is the largest cell correct axon order definition and then uh, taste buds on tongue and the septor in the nose so dendrites axon okay fine and then for uh, this question 35th question hope you all would have given answers even more than this better than this here itself you cannot see the examples but with examples you would have given what is nutrition uh, modes of nutrition with examples correct yes hello student am i audible yes sir yes sir yeah is the question then and then uh, this one so this is what uh, the question about uh, the functions of eye the bright light enters the eye retina receives the stimulus signal sent to the brain via optic nerve and brain reverts the message via motor nerve and then pupil contracts okay is it clear 30th question all of you answered well for this question this flow chart given yes sir yeah and then the uh, mode of excretion in unicellular organism examples like means you know there uh, you just matched uh, the answers but here with examples it is actually given okay 29th question
and then uh, this one 24th question right uh, the functions of neuron three different type of neuron what is the function of relay neuron connects neurons with the central nervous system okay sensory neuron layer in the receive or get impulses are conducted to the central nervous system with the help of a relay neuron okay motor neuron from brain or spinal cord it uh, communicates what the brain tells so that message is passed to the effector organ through motor neuron and sensory neuron is receiving the information from the sensory organ and uh, through spinal cord it communicates to the brain is it clear you all connected well this question yes sir yes sir fine and the 23rd question uh, the common features of uh, respiratory organs in aquatic and terrestrial animals okay like blood surface area thin walled body surface rich supply of blood for transport of substances maybe you would have given some examples also hope so and then uh, so look at that so this question 21st carbohydrates are found in fruit means the sources and then digestion starts with mouth and then the enzymes break down carbohydrates and the esophagus stomach small intestine there they are converted into monosaccharides and then absorbed to the blood through villi and then uh, supplied to the cells here i expect uh, even more better answer maybe if you connect with the uh, the enzymes also that is more sensible okay maybe the enzymes name of the enzymes okay so this is about uh, this question and then uh, the one more questions okay pituitary correct and then um, taste buds all these things sugar level uh, stomatal pore the kidney shape is bean shape and then wind velocity okay so these are all the correct answers you would have uh, given okay the solutions for just for your reference now <clears throat> let me ask you know you your test is over okay uh, from this chapter let me ask uh, other questions uh and check you people you can answer anybody can answer um the first question the pathway of breakdown of glucose what are the different pathway by which glucose is broken down in organisms the process and pathway you get my question yes sir yes so first the glucose uh, is converted into three carbon molecule called pyruvate by the process of glycolysis in cytoplasm mm. and then uh, uh, from pyruvate there are three uh, three pathways first was in the presence of oxygen it is in mitochondria it is converted mm. into carbon dioxide water mm. and 38 atp of energy mm. and then in absence of oxygen in cytoplasm um, mostly in yeast cells it is converted into carbon dioxide uh, ethanol plus energy of 2 atp okay and in the that, absence of in the absence of oxygen right yeah, yes sir yeah mm. and then lack of oxygen in muscle cells it is converted into lactic acid plus energy okay so what is the name of this process respiration oh two type of respiration right 
What are the two types of respiration? Aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic and anaerobic uh, respiration. Where glucose is completely oxidized. Aerobic and anaerobic is... respiration. Okay, fine. In aerobic, complete. In anaerobic, incomplete oxidation of uh, uh, glucose. Correct? Fine. Okay. Another question. What are the different kind of valves present in human heart? And what are their functions? Types of valves and their functions. Valve and their function. You get my question, students? In human heart. Valve. Hello, students? Valves in heart. Yes, sir. Name the valves and their function, where they are present. Sir, aortic valve, mitral mm. valve, mm. palmonic valve, and tricuspid valve. Mm. So, tricuspid valve, uh, it prevents the backflow of blood from the right ventricle to right atrium. Mm. Pulmonary valve. Only uh, prevention. And allow bloods to flow from right atrium uh, to right ventricle. Mm. Mm. And then pulmonary valve uh, allows the right ventricle to pump blood to the pulmonary artery. Mm. And then pulmonary valve prevents the backflow of blood from pulmonary artery to the right ventricle. Mm. Mitral valve uh, mm. is present between the left atrium and the lungs. Mm. Mm. And they prevent the backflow of blood. Okay, it allows the flow of oxygenated as well as prevents the closure, prevents backflow. Very good. Okay, so so where these walls are located and their correct uh, functions, you should know. Very good. And then what are the two nodes are present in the heart? SA nodes. Uh, means SA means what? SA node means what? What are the other type of nodes? Anybody else? Yes, tell me. So SA is sinus node. Mm. Uh, only verified psi, okay. But not less. It is different. No, SA node and AV node, sir. Yes. S A stands for what? A V stands for what? Sir, I know A V stands for a, a, a atrioventricular node. Atrioventricular node. Very good. Sinoatrial node, sir. Very good. Sinoatrial node. Atrioventricular node. What is the function of these two nodes? Where they are present? S A node. Where it is present? Heart. I know. It is in heart. In which part of the heart? Right atrium. Mm, okay, right atrium. Is a node. What it does? What it does? It is also called what? S a node is also called what? S a node is also called what? Hmm? PM. It is the PM of Pace your body. PM. Pacemaker. Very good. Very chief function it has in the heart. Okay. PM of the heart. It is the PM of the heart. Because almost 70% of the energy required for the contraction of the heart is produced by this SA node. And the energy which is produced by the SA node is received by the next node. What is the node? A V node, atrioventricular node, and also through the Purkinje fiber bundle of this fiber, it is diffused, transferred to ventricles, right? 
and then ventricle contracts so these two nodes are very but the valves of the nodes and means valves of the heart and nodes of the heart plays a crucial role in functioning of the heart okay fine septum what is septum what are the different type of set? septum we have in heart atrioventricular septum mm. then and then oh then uh, okay other next time i will set the question separately for biology okay good so atrioventricular septum interatrial and interventricular septum okay which helps the heart uh, means uh, prevents means uh, which makes all the four chambers of the heart atrium and ventricles okay with just one more question which chamber is the biggest chamber there are four chambers all are of same size hmm? all are of same size hello students no oh, sir left ventricle is the biggest chamber i guess Mm? Left ventricle is the biggest chamber. Yes, sir. What then? Then what about right ventricle? Sorry, compared to ventricle, fine, big. Compared to atrium and ventricle, which is the biggest one? Atrium is the biggest chamber, or ventricles are the biggest chamber? Ventricles, sir. Sure. atrium only receives first then that may be bigger one lia you agree with me i'm correct or wrong i'm correct or wrong i'm wrong okay or ventricles are bigger than the atrium okay keep that in mind anyway so such kind of things lot more need to be discussed hence do you finish test one still many things are there for you to learn okay so pay more attention and keep preparing well okay the test is over but the learning is a continuous process again and again you have to read i'm seriously telling maybe 10 times you'd have read uh, the complete uh, book <clears throat> textbook but every single time you learn new 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 things you are the same person you have the same textbook or study material or whatever <clears throat> but whenever you read every time you find a uh, new information from the textbook okay so <clears throat> keep reading okay never stop reading okay even though you score good marks in the test still there are room to learn still there are some concepts to understand better okay so keep that in mind all the best for your preparation thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you for your interaction thank you take care